This year's coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Corsair and eBuyer. Check them out in the link below. Hey, what is up guys? How are we doing? And welcome back to Computex 2019. I say welcome back. It's the first video that we filmed here. It's come around so quick, it's almost like we never left. Here we have some new gaming monitors that are gonna completely change the way that we play our games. And I honestly mean this, and I wanna get this out there straight away. These monitors are not overly stupidly expensive. They're actually coming down to more mainstream monitors, which is fantastic. So you've probably heard of FreeSync, you've probably heard of G-Sync, and they've been out for a few years, and the way they work is they actually synchronize your game frame rate with the monitor refresh rate, which is fantastic. It means we get rid of stutter, tearing, and while some have been better than others, generally speaking, it's been a really well-received technology and it has made a lot of difference. But there's also something called ultra-low motion blur. And this has been very popular, but it's almost been not as popular as the other choices. And the reason is because as soon as you turn it on, it actually disables FreeSync, it disables G-Sync, and it means that you're then getting that mismatch of frames. And the reason for this is because the backlight strobing that actually means you get less motion blur on the screen works at a fixed refresh rate, which means we can't have variable refresh rate until now. Because yes, we now have ASUS's next gen ELMB motion blur technology. So it finally does look like you can actually have your cake and eat it. Adaptive sync for reduced stutter and tearing on your games, as well as ultra low motion blur for, well, less motion blur. They have a setup here on and off, and I don't really know if it's gonna pick up very well on camera, but it does actually make a huge difference. It will only work at around about 100 FPS plus, because otherwise you might start to notice the strobing, but it's something that's coming very, very soon, and I'm really looking forward to actually getting these in for review. But believe it or not, this was not actually the main technology that ASUS were really shouting about when it comes to monitors, because ROG, as always, of course, have something really silly high-end that I think a lot of people will be interested in, but maybe not that many people will have the money to buy, because this is a 17-inch portable gaming monitor with 240 frames a second with adaptive sync. I mean, I can't say that's ever been on my Christmas wish list. I haven't been asking Santa for it, but maybe this is the year that that will have to change. The setup that they've got here is probably what a lot of us would actually end up using it for, where we have a second display for a laptop. So this is a 17-inch laptop, 17-inch portable gaming display, and you can have the two next to each other. I think they might sort of bring out some sort of attachment maybe that you could use to put it next to your monitor, and then, like we have here with the Division, you can just use it as a normal monitor. But the actual display quality is fantastic. 240 hertz, if you can drive it, is amazing. It is 1080p. 240 hertz 4K is a little bit in the future. I have a little bit of a way to go there. Um, but the way it works is you get this smart case with it that actually works as a stand. So if you do want to use this as a portable display and not one that you just have at your home, um, then you put this over the top and then you can see it is super thin and it's almost like a laptop really. You can take it from place to place. The setup that they have here is with a ROG phone plugged in over USB-C. There is also micro HDMI as well, so you can plug in things like a uh, Nintendo Switch, that's the words I'm looking for, um, as well as USB-C that you can use with the display port through USB-C. But I think the thing is, this is gonna be so, so expensive. I don't really understand who this is for. How many people have a really high-end 17-inch gaming laptop out there that don't have the money maybe for two larger displays, a new keyboard mouse, and who actually wants a portable gaming monster? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below if this is you. Let me know your thoughts on this ROG display, and I guess let's play a game of how much is it gonna cost, because they won't tell me. Please let me know down in the comments section below. A massive thank you to you guys for actually checking out this video, for eBuy and Corsair for actually sponsoring this year's coverage and bringing it out here. Like the video if you um, liked it, I guess. Like the video if you've disliked it as well. It helps out so, so much you wouldn't believe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.